My name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is how to create a rubber stamp effect in Adobe Photoshop originally written by John Negoita on Vato Tatstas. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a realistic rubber stamp effect in Photoshop. Turn any photo into a rubber stamp in just a few quick steps. First, download the assets. Install the Photoshop resources by dragging them into Photoshop window. Create a new document. You can use another size for a PSD file, but you have to proportionally adjust all the sizes used in this tutorial. Add the grunge stained paper texture in a new layer. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and add a gradient map adjustment using the same colors as me. Pick the Ellipse tool. Keep the Shift key pressed while you draw to create a perfect round circle. Call this layer Circle 1. Hit Ctrl J to duplicate the Circle 1 layer three times and call the layers Circle 2, Circle 3 and Circle 4. Set the fill of the Circle 1 layer to 0% and add a black stroke oops, of 6 pixels. For the Circle 2 layer, hit Ctrl T to scale the shape. Make sure to click on the Maintain Aspect Ratio button and set the scale to 95%. Set the fill of the Circle 2 layer to 0% and add a black stroke, this time of 4 pixels. For the Circle 3 layer, hit Ctrl T to scale the shape to 75%. Set the fill of the Circle 3 layer to 0% and add a black stroke of 6 pixels. For the Circle 4 layer, hit Ctrl T to scale the shape to 70%. Set the fill of the Circle 4 layer to 0% and add a stroke of 4 pixels. Set the foreground color to black. Pick the Custom Shape tool and make sure you have the Defined Proportions option checked. For this tutorial, I used shape number 17, but you can use any shape you like. Click on the Circle 3 layer. Pick the Horizontal Type tool and move directly over the circle path. When the cursor changes, click to start typing. I use the intro font and color black for the text. You can use another font type and another color. Add a main portrait stock image as a smart object. Keep the Ctrl key pressed and click on the thumbnail of the Circle 4 layer to make a selection. Click on the Add Layer Mask button from the Layers tab to add a mask for the main portrait layer. Make sure the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white, otherwise the next photo effect will not look right. Double click the main portrait layer to open it separately. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Sketch, Stamp and set the Light Dark Balance to 4 and the Smoothness to 1. Save the file and close it. Open the Layer Style window of the main portrait layer. The Blend if sliders are at the foot of this dialog. Use the sliders called This Layer to remove the white color. Simply drag the right slider to the left to hide the white color. Select all the stamp layers Right-click on the layers and choose Convert to Smart Object. Add a layer mask to the smart object. Use the grunge Photoshop brushes to create grunge stamp effect. Use different brushes of different sizes. Create a new layer and call it Stamp Lines. Pick the brush tool and from the rubber stamp Photoshop brushes use the Stamp Lines brush. Add a layer mask to the stamp lines layer. Again, use the grunge Photoshop brushes to create grungy stamp effects and also to hide some parts of the stamp lines that cover the stamp. If you want to create a multi-color rubber stamp, you can add a color overlay layer style to the smart object or you can add different colors for the layers inside the smart object. For the final touches, create a new layer, 
and use old envelope stamp brushes to add a realistic old envelope effect. That's all! Now you know how to create a Photoshop stamp effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching!